If you or someone you know have high cholesterol level, you might be worried about the condition of your heart. The heart is likened as the power supply of the body. Without it, nothing else works. You might not know this, but your heart creates actual electrical pulses that run through your body, supplying energy in every single cell. And once everything is turned off, everything shuts down. Difficulty of breathing, heaviness, and a feeling of tightness in the chest. These are only some of the symptoms that will tell you that your heart needs attention. In this video, you will learn about two very common and inexpensive vitamins that can change and impact your life because these two vitamins are well documented to unplug arteries and lower your cholesterol levels. In fact, these two vitamins are considered to be the strongest, cheapest, and safest form to improve your heart health. In this video, you will know what these two vitamins are, how they really work, how much do you really need per day, and if it's safe for you or not. Hi, this is again Dr. Sherry, Doctor of Physical Therapy, teaching you health tips and home exercise programs that you and your family can benefit from. If you're new here, don't forget to click the subscribe and the bell button below and join our growing community so you won't be missing out in our weekly health videos. Do you know that our arteries are already narrowed or partially clogged from plaque buildup when we are already in our 40s and more so as we get older? Our arterial walls become thickened and slightly stiff over time, which is also compounded by poor food choices. Our blood vessels are no longer as flexible as when we were a child. This is a reason why heart disease is still the leading cause of death worldwide. High cholesterol and atherosclerosis can affect circulation in your blood. However, not many know that there are two common and inexpensive vitamins which actually has the capacity to open up diseased and clogged arteries so it can dilate normally and allow blood to easily flow. In fact, it has the potential to slow down and stop atherosclerosis or hardening of the arteries. Vitamin C and E are common and inexpensive yet overlooked strategy to help get rid of cholesterol and clock build up in the heart and blood vessel walls. Vitamin C and E are very potent antioxidants. And these antioxidants play very important roles since it can block off destructive activity of free radicals in the body. Once you are exposed to different chemicals, say for instance from the food that you eat, Free radicals are created internally through body metabolism, creating changes that is a cause of many long-term conditions like heart disease. Vitamin C and E are powerful antioxidants that block free radicals so they cannot damage your arteries and your heart. There are actually many documented studies which show that vitamin C and vitamin E have the capacity to unclog arteries and lower your cholesterol levels. For instance, in one study, it showed that those people who were taking 100 IU of vitamin E daily after a coronary artery bypass graft have lesser amount of plaque formation in their blood vessel wall after 2 years as compared to non-vitamin E drinkers. Upon checking with an angiogram, plaque in the arteries for those who took vitamin E had shrunk. This is very powerful because vitamin E had been shown to slash heart attacks by as much as 77%. Although vitamin E cannot directly lower your blood cholesterol level, it helps stop bad cholesterol from being chemically changed into plaque buildup. 
you will also be amazed about vitamin C because there are fascinating discoveries that vitamin C actually has the capacity to open up blood vessels to allow blood circulation. One side effect of conditions like diabetes and coronary artery disease is impaired vascular functioning, which means that arteries or blood vessels won't open as much, which results to poor blood circulation. But we also have another problem with that because if there is impaired blood circulation, there is also a tendency for small clots to form within the arterial wall. In normal individuals, blood vessels can open up to as much as 15% to allow blood flow. But for those who have atherosclerosis or for those who have high cholesterol and those with conditions like diabetes, normal opening of the blood vessels would only be around 2 to 3% as opposed to 15%. And this is a major risk factor for heart attacks. Vitamin C is very important because it allows nitric oxide, a potent vasodilator, to open up arteries which is otherwise suppressed by free radicals. There are also studies that show that vitamin C can lower bad cholesterol by 16% in 4 weeks. Before we proceed to the dosage for vitamin C and vitamin E, I would really appreciate it if you can take only one second of your time to please click the like button below if you find this video helpful. Generally, 500 milligrams to 1,000 milligrams of vitamin C and between 400 to 800 IU of vitamin D have been found beneficial for heart health. Vitamin C and vitamin E are one of the safest substances that is found and that is available. There is no long-term side effects for these vitamins, but a dosage of 1,100 IU of vitamin E is really not advisable. You also need to talk to your doctor first because vitamin E has a blood thinning effect, which is very important for people who are taking anticoagulants. If your current laboratory results show that you have high cholesterol level, you need not worry. Together with your medications, you now know the most common and expensive vitamins that you can add with your daily regimen. Please share this video to your friends and family members who also have elevated cholesterol. This may be something that they can be thankful for. If you have reached the end of this video, please comment healthy heart in the comment section below. I would really love to hear from you. Thank you very much for watching. This is again Doc Cherry. Stay safe, stay happy and healthy. God bless you.